good morning. This reading will be for the collective. And I'm going to pull an angel, an angel oracle card. And I think a, another card. And we will see what exactly the cards will be giving us a message for. Spirit. Guys and angels, please give me a card. Let's see what this one has to say. Astara. Okay. And forgive my cat in the background. He's kind of meowing already. Excuse me while I get my glasses. Excuse me. And I think we'll take an animal spirit card as well. Okay. Spirit guides and angels, give me a message. the B community. Okay. And let's do this one. We have willing release. Okay, now let's see what the tarot has to say. Okay, let's pull some cards. See what the message is. Spirit guides and angels, deliver me a message for the day. What message does the collective need to hear at this point? What does the collective need to hear? What message do you have? The Three of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. And the chariots. Okay, let's get these into focus here. So the 
we can see those. And so I can pull one more round. King of Cups. The Seven of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. Energy on the bottom of the deck is the world. I believe that you're coming to an end of a cycle. Something is complete. You have come to a completion. Maybe you have learned a lesson. And actually, I'm feeling like taking one more card. Let it go. Okay, so you have willing release and let it go. Maybe there's something that you're, you need to release from your life right now. Let's take a look at Astara. Astara says, you deserve the best. This actually jumped right out of my hand. Okay. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. And you have B community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. And you are the queen of abundance. Wow. So it looks like maybe you should focus on your dreams right now. Um, something that you have put your intentions out there for, maybe coming into fruition. As we look at the cards, we have the Three of Cups and the Ace of Swords and the King of Cups. I feel like you're, you're being supported right now. You may find support through your community. Maybe you do volunteering or um, you're part of your community setting. Maybe you do some kind of charitable giving um, as part of your community. But I feel like you are fully supported. Uh, this may also be a celebration that you'll be going to very shortly. And I feel like you have found clarity in the situation. Um, this may be big new ideas coming forth. Um, I'm feeling more like it's clarity on some sort of situation. Maybe it's clarity in love because you have the King of Cups here. Um, the King of Cups... He's very supportive, tolerant. He kind of wears his emotions on his sleeve. He's very emotional, but he also knows how, how to control his emotions. And sometimes he may come across as cold, but that's him controlling his emotions. Let's make better sense of it with the next row. Okay, the next row we have High Priestess, the Two of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. The High Priestess. I feel like there may have been secrets in the past. Some kind of mystery that you need to unfold. Maybe that's why you're looking for clarity. 
I feel like you should trust your intuition and trust yourself in this situation. But I, overall, I feel like you have two paths. You have two paths to go on. Make your plans and make the choice. Make the choice. With which path will you choose? Could be that you're waiting for an answer on that as well. At the bottom, you have the Seven of Swords. I would be aware of sneaky people. Um, someone's being sneaky around you. They may be trying to steal something that you have. Um, they may be gossiping about you, talking about you behind your back. I would be aware of that situation. Now, in the last row, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a very good card. The Ten of Pentacles, this is your inheritance, your abundance. Uh, you may have money coming in maybe that you weren't aware of or maybe that you were waiting for see if we go from here the king of cups to the two of wands to the ten of pentacles this may be a love that you have maybe that's a wealthy person you've been waiting for results on this situation You've been waiting for them to make a move. You've been waiting for them to give you an answer. This is a very interesting reading. Very interesting. On this side, you have blessings. On this side, you have Letting go and releasing. Hmm. If this resonates with you, please clarify this for me. Tell me what this is more about. Um, you also have the chariot. You may be going on a journey, maybe due to this Ten of Pentacles. You may be going on a journey or your life is about to change. I feel like maybe you asked the universe for this blessing. And now with this blessing brings change to your destiny. She's following her destiny. She's going on her journey, but there's no reins. She's actually trusting the universe. The high priestess trusting the universe to lead her in the right direction and with the high priestess she's using her intuition she's using her 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 faith in the universe she is trusting that she has been guided in the right direction Now, at the bottom of the deck, and it's very interesting that at the bottom, you would have the queen, the, the king of cups and the queen of wands. So I believe that if this is love, this is a very good dynamic. Um, now, you do have the seven of swords in between the king of cups and the queen of wands. So like I said, I believe that maybe someone's talking behind your back. Someone is being sneaky, has a sneaky energy. So that's something that you should be alert of. Whether you are the king of cups or the queen of wands. I'm not putting gender on these cards. But um, yeah, someone in your circle is being sneaky. They're, gossip they're talking about you. They're gossiping about you. 
Okay, let's get some clarification on these cards. Let's get some clarification. Spirit, guides, and angels. Can you tell me more about this reading, please? Please clarify this reading. Can I have a card for the Three of Cups, please? May I have a card for the Three of Cups? What does this Three of Cups mean? The lovers. Okay. So maybe... You will find this King of Cups at something that you're doing in the community or maybe a party or get together. Okay, and with the Ace of Swords, you have the Ten of Pentacles again. So yeah, I believe that you're going to find more about this. This is actually going to come to light. You've got the Ten of Pentacles twice. This is the universe clarifying that this is meant for you. Oh, my goodness. This is definitely meant for you. And the universe wants to just yell out everything. That's too many cards. Can I have a card for the King of Cups, please? One card, please. Okay, the death card. Yeah, this is actually a new beginning. And this person is actually distressed. They're, they're actually um, kind of overwhelmed, maybe, of approaching you. You kind of intimidate them. I feel like they want to come forward, but they're... They're not sure if you'll accept them. Can I have a card for the High Priestess? One card for the High Priestess, please. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Okay, you have three tens in this reading, which is a very good Considering you also have the world, which is also a completion. And now you have the Ten of Cups on the bottom underneath that. Yeah, this is definitely, something is coming full circle here. Something is coming full circle. Um, maybe you've been anxious and worried. But with the High Priestess, the universe is letting you know Use your intuition. Trust yourself in this situation. You don't have to worry or fear. This situation will work itself out. Can I have a card for the Two of Wands, please? The Two of Wands, the Hermit. Okay. Now, I feel like you've been trying to stay alone for a while. Um... But and I, th I think you need to get out of the house. You need to get out of the house and be around people. Be around your community. Spirit is letting you know, use your community. Because you have support. You have uh, the community card. You have three of cups and the hermit. So and I'm feeling like, yeah, you should get out. Get out of your solitude and join your community i feel like when you do that Im important things are going to happen in your life okay and can i have a card for the seven of swords please the eight of wands yeah you're going to receive a communication about this someone is going to tell you someone's going to call and tell you that someone's been talking about you Someone's going to call and tell you that someone's spreading rumors, someone's gossiping.
they're going to let you know that someone is actually being really sneaky. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the King of Wands. Yeah, this King of Wands, he could be the key of your to your Ten of Pentacles. If he's not the key, this may be your energy. You're being very assertive. You're being very bold in order to obtain this Ten of Pentacles. You've been working hard. The King of Wands, he's an entrepreneur. Maybe you found your flow and now your Ten of Pentacles is coming to you because of that. With the Chariot, you have the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like you should team up. Team up and go on a journey. I feel like you're going to team up with someone and go on a trip. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Two of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I, I feel with the Queen of Wands twice, and see so you have the King of Swords on the bottom. You definitely have love here. There's definitely love here. It's coming. Um, but I feel like, okay, with the Queen of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Queen of Wands, you're a very attractive person. You're bold and assertive. You're very confident and self-assured. You don't need anybody's help. You can do whatever you put your mind to on your own. Um, but I feel like you need to make a choice. You need to follow your path. And you need to make a choice to let someone in to be your helpmate or keep going it alone. So with this journey, will you will you keep going it alone or will you let someone else in? I'm going to take one more card just because I want a little bit more clarity on this information. Let's see. They're all stuck. Okay. Let's see what the universe has to say. We're going to take one more card and see what that has to say. Spirit, guides, and angels, please give me a message. Please give me a message for the higher good, for the collective. Okay. Okay, there's two of them there. Okay, the universe works fast when I'm having fun. That's just what I'm saying. Be a part of your community. Get out and have fun with this Three of Cups and the lovers. The Three of Cups. Get out and celebrate. So the universe works fast when I'm having fun. And the next card that came with it. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So, okay, I'm, I believe, <laughs> I believe there are two sides to you. This could be for a Gemini. This could really be for a Gemini because I feel like there's two sides. These are your dreams and admirations. And these are the things that are holding you back. These are what you need to let go. So, it's kind of cut down the middle. Your dreams and letting go. Because that's so funny that those two cards would come out together. This deciding, you know, the universe works fast when I'm having fun. This goes along with your dreams and admirations. 
And true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below my triggers. The, these are things that you need to let go of. Wow. Interesting. This is such an interesting reading. Like I said, this may be for a Gemini. Um, although I, I did pull these cards for the collective. You may have Gemini in your chart. Maybe your sun, moon, or rising, or, or Venus. But, um, yeah, this is very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and cut that there. And if this message resonates with you, please like and describe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. And I will see you on the next one. Love and light to you. Many blessings.